Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about my latest stock market portfolio update. If you've recalled in the past, you've seen this chart on screen where we went over my favorite investments for a particular year. And now we're going to do that same thing except for the year of 2024. You should also recall that we started this portfolio back on January 28th of 2021 with just around $2,000. Then we grew it from $2,000 to $26,000, from $26,000 up to $50,000. We also went to $54,000 to $60,000. That then grew to $69,000, to $75,000, to $91,000, and then most recently, we have reached $114,000. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite stocks to buy for this year of 2024, which I'm adding to this exact portfolio. So with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now for more videos just like this one on the best stocks to buy. Subscribe if you are new, comment down below your favorite stock to invest into in the comments, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Starting off strong, let's talk about one of our top picks, and these are in no particular order, but coming in at number one would be Tesla. And if you didn't know, Tesla is a market leader in electric vehicle manufacturing, while they also specialize in areas such as artificial intelligence, energy storage, and energy generation. We're going to be going through these picks very quickly, so make sure either to take notes or have your phone ready to look up these companies to determine whether or not they are good for your portfolio. Because just because I'm investing into them, that doesn't mean that you don't need to do research. Always make sure to do your own due diligence to ensure that it is good for your personal portfolio. And with that being said, let's move on to our second pick, which would be none other than Berkshire Hathaway, ticker symbol BRK.B. Berkshire Hathaway is a conglomerate holding company which invests into various successful companies. This company is partially owned and operated by legendary investor Warren Buffett. So by investing into this company, it's literally like Warren Buffett himself is managing your investment. I've had a lot of growth thanks to both Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA and Berkshire Hathaway, ticker symbol BRKB. And of course, you can look up these companies either by their name or their ticker symbol. And with that being said, let's move on to my number three pick. And again, these are in no particular order. And the next one would be BlackRock, ticker symbol BLK. BlackRock is an American multinational investment company, which is the world's largest asset management institution that manages trillions and trillions of dollars. Literally, we're not talking about millions, we're not talking about billions, but trillion with a T, trillion dollars, which is literally insane. This company manages money that is more than other countries' entire GDP, which is extremely impressive. You should also know that this company has a very wealthy clients in over 100 different countries. So by investing into this company, you are betting on the rich getting richer, which will ultimately make you richer as well. Next, let's move on to our number four pick, which is none other than S&P Global. This company should sound familiar to you if you are invested into the Standard & Poor's Index, known as the S&P 500, which holds the most valuable 500 American companies which are publicly traded. I personally am a huge fan of the S&P 500, and I am also heavily invested into the S&P 500 Index, which would include ticker symbol VOO, and that would be my favorite investment to achieve the same growth as the s S&P 500 index itself. This business primarily focuses on financial information as well as analytics data pertaining to the stock market, but they have been a great investment for me so far, and I just want to share the love to tell you what I am buying right now. Because as you can see, my portfolio has been relatively successful over the last few years, and I want it to continuously grow. I also want to make you aware of the companies I am buying so you can jump on this success as well, as long as these companies align with your investment strategy. Next up in our number five spot, we have NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is a multinational financial services corporation which owns and operates three stock market exchanges in the United States. This company oversees the operation of the most active trading venue by volume, which makes this a hyper successful company. If you plan to look further into this company for yourself, I would also tell you to look into ticker symbol QQQM, which I am personally invested into as well. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about NASDAQ. Next, let's move on to our next pick, which would be none other than JPM, also known as JP Morgan Chase. 
JP Morgan Chase is a financial corporation that is literally the largest bank in the United States and they rank as the world's largest bank by market capitalization, so investors should be wise to bet on the future success of this banking behemoth. I want you to think in your head of another bank, like a Bank of America, and literally any bank you can think of, JP Morgan is more valuable than that company according to their market capitalization. They are literally bigger and arguably better than any other bank that you can think of, and that makes it a phenomenal investment opportunity for investors. And with that being said, let's move on to our next pick, which would be Realty Income. This company is a REIT, and if you don't know what a REIT is, essentially, a REIT is a real estate investment trust. This company invests in properties in the United States and abroad, which then distributes a large portion of their profits to shareholders. This is one of the best passive income dividend stocks that money can buy right now. On top of that, this also allows someone who does not have enough capital to buy real estate themselves to own some real estate in a derivative way and also get paid for it. So again, I would highly recommend you look further into this company. Up next, we have KKR, and this pick might actually surprise you. KKR is a global investment company which manages alternative assets like private equities, energy, infrastructure, and even credit. They are not your typical financial institution, but they have been extremely successful over the long term, so investors would be extremely wise to pay attention to them. If you've noticed a trend here, either I'm identifying companies which are extremely diversified in their offerings, or a company that is heavily integrated into finances and financials, or at least financial data. The reason why I picked these two things to hark on is because finances are essentially always going to be around as long as there's a stock market and as long as there's capital that's trading hands. On top of that, I like companies that are diversified in their revenue segments, which just makes this company a safer buying opportunity in my opinion. And with that being said, let's jump to our next pick, which would be State Street. State Street is an international financial services company, which is the second oldest continuously operating bank holding company in the United States. There are many years of resilient growth signals to investors that this company can almost survive anything. So not only is this company very successful, but they are also extremely resilient. And I think this could be a fantastic addition to your portfolio because it's certainly been fantastic in my portfolio. Next up, let's talk about Mercado Libre. And this is another very interesting pick, but I tend to like this company a lot. And this is by far the most risky investment on this list. However, the upside potential for this company is absolutely insane, because this company is essentially the combination of Amazon, eBay, and PayPal all in a single company. Therefore, it is well worth investors' time to look further into this company, because I think this could be a great buying opportunity. Next up, let's talk about Moody's, and a lot of people don't really know what Moody's does, but I am a huge fan of this company. Moody's is a big name which rates the credit worthiness of companies and even whole governments. You heard that right, they literally determine the credit worthiness of entire governments. If you ever hear about companies which receive an AAB rating or a triple A rating, which I can only think of two companies which hold that, then these ratings are coming from Moody's most likely. A lot of weight is put behind these credit worthiness ratings by Moody because they are a very prestigious investment and I think they could make a fantastic addition to your portfolio. The company also has a very long track record of success and again, that's why I personally am buying this company in 2024 to increase my overall portfolio returns. Next up, let's talk about MSCI, and they are a finance company which is a global provider of equity, real estate indices, and portfolio analysis tools. This company is a big deal, and they have an astounding track record of consistent investment returns to prove it. We only have two stocks left, so let's start off with talking about FactSet. This company provides predictions, insights, and knowledge about various stocks and the stock market itself. In my opinion, this company is well worth looking into because so far my investment into them has paid off nicely. Last but not least, let's talk about Intercontinental Exchange. This company operates international financial exchanges, and they also operate clearing houses on top of mortgage technology and listing services. The company's history of returning value to stockholders truly speaks for itself, which is why I personally am investing into this company right now, along with all of the other companies that were 
were mentioned on this list. But please keep in mind, although I am investing into these single stocks, I am also investing into multiple ETFs, which make up the majority of my holdings. My core ETFs would still consist of MTUM, SCHD, QQQ, VTI, and VOO. But recently, I've changed my core ETF strategy by investing only into SCHD, QQQM, and VTI. With that said, I would love to hear your comments down below about any of these stocks that I am buying, my ETFs, and the growth of my portfolio so far. So remember to go ahead and annihilate that like button for more videos just like this one, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below in the comments, and I will see you in the next YT video.